I've primarily used fountain pens for the last six, seven years in my sketchbooks. I like using bottled ink that I can choose the colors I want to use instead of always being stuck with black. Um, you know, whether I'm just sketching my pens, art supplies are more involved in my travel illustrated journals. I started to become concerned about the light fast quality of inks because you know the sketchbooks are one thing but I was starting to use them and working bigger so I became very concerned of whether or not the inks were archival. And archival and light fast ratings have, have a lot to do with how long they can be exposed to light and not fade or change colors. In a sketchbook, it's not a big concern because, you know, they're not exposed to light that much. But when I decided to start using them on paintings that would be framed, there was a lot of areas that I would literally wash ink over an area. I would move beyond the line drawing and use it to put down a passage of a lot of color with a brush. So it became very important that I find out whether or not these pigments or these inks is a better term um, were going to last if exposed to light. So what I did is I took a two inch by four inch card of watercolor paper, since that's what I normally work on, put a black line across to be able to show what would be, um, see here you can kind of see white showing up. It tells me whether or not the color is actually transparent. So I made these swatches and I used a paintbrush and I just went full strength, put paint onto these. And then I used what is a sleeve for negatives. And I turned the sleeve upside down because you can see the binder ring holes are on this side. But this way, I could put it in the sleeve like that. And when it came time to expose these to the full sunshine, I would cover this up with a white piece of watercolor paper. If you take a look here, you'll notice right here, is completely blocked. So the upper half, half is completely blocked right here from any light. And I put these in a southwest window for 30 days straight. And I did some other experiments too. Here I used just water on a brush to see how much the pigment would move. And then here I was playing around to see how much I could lift. These are the document inks by Diatriments, which they are very waterproof and they don't move very much, which is fine. It was just a curiosity thing. But what happened is after 30 days, I took and pulled this out. And look at that. Can you see that? Look at how much the color changed in 30 days when exposed to the light. So right away that told me that this may be great for in a sketchbook, but it is not something that I would use for a painting that I would frame and put on the wall. So looking at all the diatrementus, there's no change whatsoever. Um, and looking down here, this is the Irijuku. You'll notice really no change. It was really very stable in the full light, and these are all very stable too. So I know that most of us don't sketch in yellow and red and green, and we use more blacks and browns. So let me show this to you now. Okay, this is where it really made a big difference. Above here, you'll see the brand on the bottom section is where you see the color, okay? So the Irijuku and then down here, the color name. You'll notice on the Diatramentus right here, you'll see some spe specifications. One is a dilution solution and that it's a mixture of black and gray. That's one thing I really love about that ink is that I can 
use this, I can mix their colors together, and I can come up with my own personal colors while I'm sketching. So I didn't know if the dilution solution would change how stable it is, but it look at that, there's no change at all after 30 days. Noodlers looks good here. All these different ones, I'll let you read them individually, and I'll even hold them up closer so you can look and see if there's much change. Now, um, I know that the shine here is creating a little bit of a deception in what's happening. Um, over here, all of these held up beautifully. I didn't notice any difference in these colors at all. Now I move down into the tones that are more red. And I think this is the only one that didn't change when exposed to the light. Moving over to these other browns, what I did find is that the platinum burn sepia was stable. The polar brown by Noodlers was very good. Unfortunately, the Irizuku did not hold up well at all. Quite a bit of difference right there. I'd say it dropped out at least 50%. And this is the Diatrementus Brown, which really held up lovely. I like to use this color with the dilution solution, and I make my own mixtures, and I keep it in a nice big bottle because I go through this pretty fast. So the one thing just to keep in mind is most of these are great and very stable in sketchbooks. You don't have to worry about it at all. My main concern was, once again, if I was going to be doing artwork that was going to be in a frame, that's when I had to make sure that the inks that I was using were stable. So I hope this bit of information is helpful to you. And next time that you can't find the answers that you need, you can take one of these swatches, take one of these sleeves, find a window that has full exposure, Put it against the window and give it 30 days without peeking, okay? And you may be surprised, um, but more than anything, you'll just be informed on the materials that you use.